Hey guys, so I wanted to start my vlog. Today is actually April 10th. Yesterday was mine and Becky's anniversary, so I did not vlog because I wanted it to just kind of be about us and we spent time together and it was just a really good day. I can't believe we've been together for two years. It's like the time has flown by, but it also feels like I've known her forever. So yeah, it was just a really good day yesterday and I'm wearing my definitely not today shirt because I'm not doing my makeup. I'm not gonna get dolled up. My face has been breaking out a little bit more than usual because I have been wearing a lot of makeup lately. I have been enjoying trying my new eyeshadow palettes and just trying to experiment with those. Like I'm not the greatest at eyeshadow but it's definitely been fun. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart I am appreciating the support and the kind words so much. <laughs> like this is what is keeping me on my toes and keeping me up with the vlogging and the posting daily. Those positive words of encouragement is the very reason why I do my exercises and the reason why I keep trying to push forward. You know obviously I'm trying to lose weight for myself and for my health and I'm trying to gain better mobility for myself but when I have so much support and so many people rooting for me that is what keeps me going so from the bottom of my heart like I appreciate it so much this is really what I've been needing to like get myself up and going so there have been a lot of just like people telling me you know do a weigh-in on camera do a live weigh-in we want to know what your weight really is because we don't believe you and just all this stuff and that hurts me a lot that people don't believe when I say I am 570 when the last time I weighed myself. So I kind of just want to sit here and explain why I haven't done a weigh-in on camera. I think it's just a lot easier for me to just be like, yeah, I'm 570 versus stepping on the scale for you guys and you guys seeing that number for yourself because it is embarrassing. I am very much ashamed. In the back of my head, I feel like a lot of people won't believe me even if I do step on the scale because I do have a scale that is for car equipment and stuff like that and it's a very heavy duty scale but there's an option on it where you can tear weights I don't really know much about it I've never done it before the only reason why I found out about it is because people in the comments would talk about it and say that I'm faking my weigh-ins because I can tear the scale I don't I don't know so in my heart it made me feel like maybe the weigh-ins are pointless and it prevented me from stepping on the scale for you guys. So I tried to think of ways where I can prove myself more and prove that I'm not lying. And I couldn't come up with anything. And then my friend actually texted me. She texted me a link and she was like, I'm going to buy this scale. And I was like, okay, you already have a scale. Me and her have the same scale. And then I ended up just clicking the link and it's actually um, a, sc a scale for us really big folk but it's uh wide width so like because you know I have an issue standing with my legs super close together and the scale is actually meant for people like that so you can get a more accurate reading and the best part about it there's no tear so I won't be you know getting accused of doing that and also the scale talks it says the weight out loud so I will be able to fill myself but you guys will be able to hear my weight out loud because the scale says it I have had a scale like that in the past, but it was cheaper and it was smaller. It really glitched a lot, but this one was more expensive. It's made for a person my size and it'll just be easier for me to do weigh-ins for you guys. So I actually ordered that a couple days ago and it's supposed to be here tomorrow. So I am very nervous to step on the scale because as you guys know, I suffer with a lot of my extremities. Uh, becoming swollen and eventually I do want to talk more about that and kind of why it happens. I've gotten so many messages regarding that and I just want to say I appreciate every single message. I just never realized how many people truly do care until I start you know taking care of myself. I'm sure it's very rather frustrating to see someone my size just not care and I'm not going to delete my past videos because I still take pride in the fact that I have almost 1700 YouTube videos up on my channel like I'm like shocked about it but I feel embarrassed for making mukbangs in the past I questioned where my mind was with that I just I don't know I guess I just thought it was okay because oh everyone else is doing it that's that's not a good excuse and I just want to like be open and say like I'm 
not perfect. I do suffer with binging and I know a lot of people don't like me to say binge eating disorder because I have never been like truly diagnosed. I have had therapists tell me in the past, yeah, it sounds like you have binge eating disorder, but I've never been to an eating disorder like doctor. And that's something that I definitely want to go to. I think that's perfect for me because I listen to other people's stories of binge eating disorder and it sounds just like what I experience. For me, my binging has not been like perfect. I still suffer every single night. Some nights I am able to fight so hard not to binge and I'm talking, it takes every part of your body, your mind and your soul, every cell in your body to be like, don't do it. Like it almost hurts to say no. And it's terrifying. It's like a terrifying, uncontrollable feeling. And I think what sucks is the fact that I'm also addicted to food. So it's like, if I don't get that quick fix, like I feel like in my brain, I kind of go like insane and it's so pathetic. Every day I go the whole day and I'm doing great. You know, I'm restricting my food like I'm supposed to, to lose weight and I'm eating healthier and I'm proud of myself and I do my exercises. And then at nighttime, it's just like craziness takes over. Some days I can defeat it and I, I fight and I win. And those nights I feel incredible when I can do that. But unfortunately, there still are times that I don't win. It's not that I'm weak and I'm not strong. It's just when for so long food has been your crutch and food has controlled you, it's hard for you to gain control over it. I'm afraid to let people down. I'm afraid to let myself down. I'm getting so much support and I just don't want people to think I'm not trying because that would be crazy because I am. I have been enjoying the exercises and I feel proud when I choose a healthy meal over a non-healthy meal. Like that makes me feel so accomplished and proud. I feel like I'm just like rambling. Today is like a ramble video. I don't think people like these very much, but sometimes I just need to get out stuff. So I do apologize if I'm, I'm boring some out there. It's just been really great to hold myself accountable on here. It's been amazing because it's it's helping me push forward even more so i know some of you like them and i know some of you don't <laughs> i just want to show a few things that i got from torrid just a few okay and it makes me sad that like there's this like cycle thing about me that like someone made where it was like Amberlynn tries to diet, she fails and then she starts doing torrid hauls and then she manipulates her audiences and then she cries and then it's like the cycle that goes around and around. I promise that's not what this is. <laughs> like I just feel so bad because I'm doing so well and I don't want people to be like, oh, Amberlynn's back in her old habits because that's definitely not what this is at all. I swear to you, I just love clothing. And I'm just excited for the day where I can still buy clothing, but I can have more options because I'll be smaller and I'll be buying smaller sizes. And I know there are people who are my size and they do like Torrid and they like to see what I get. So, and I like to show it. So we got a floral, it's black and pink florals. This is a cardigan. So it's thicker material than a kimono would be. I just thought it was super cute and for like an outfit where I'm just like wearing all black or something. So here is another cardigan, purple. This is like the softest material and I figured this would be perfect for spring because it's super light. And last but not least, another cardigan, super light. This really pretty, very light pink color. Perfect for spring.
So I just wanted to get a few cardigans. I don't wear cardigans as much as I used to, but I still wear them. And the ones that I have now are more like thicker for like maybe like the fall and the winter months. So I needed some like thin ones. So I'm actually about to go do my exercises. And I just wanted to say again, thank you guys so much for the support lately. I'm just... It's overwhelming, but in such a good way. I promise tomorrow's vlog will be a lot better. It's just sometimes there's going to be chilling out days like this where I just sit and talk to you guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.